This is Diesel the Chihuahua. The minute John and Denise Henwood laid eyes on him, he stole their hearts. He's unique. He's absolutely <laughs> one of a kind. Yeah. Then right away, this territorial pup started stealing everything he could get his little teeth on. Diesel, give me that box back. But Diesel doesn't just steal things. He hoards his loot in secret hiding places all over the Henwood home in Calgary, Canada. Diesel will take socks, Tupperware, other dogs' toys, bills, credit cards, ears, paper. This two-year-old chihuahua has been heisting and hoarding since he was a puppy. He just stashes things for the simple fact of they're his. Diesel, what are you doing? And then he comes out and looks for something else. Everybody, including us, needs to know that it belongs to him. Did you steal it? Bad dog. The Henwood's two older dogs, Cassie and Tank, still have to learn never to turn their backs on him. Diesel is a master at the sneak attack. The moment Cassie and Tank are not looking, he steals their toys and hides them. <laughs> no. Not even the Henwood's most private possessions are safe. One of Diesel's favorite things, embarrassingly enough, is my panties. And the frillier, the better. Or Denise will reach for a towel, only to discover Diesel's taken those two. You're in trouble, mister. That stopped him. After Denise has a shower in the morning, five foot long towels being drugged down the hallway, three of them at a time. And good luck trying to get anything back from Diesel. Give me that box back. Doesn't matter what it is. What have you got? Even heavy gardening shears you wouldn't think this tiny six pound pooch could lift. Diesel. Let alone run off with. And if you chase them, it makes it worse because yeah. then it's just a game and, and then you're never gonna get it back because he'll take it somewhere he knows that we can't. Reach, come on. Like under the couch, his latest favorite hiding spot. Look at the stuff he's got under there. Until the Henwoods discover it, this is Diesel's secret Fort Knox. It's quite the treasure trove underneath that couch most days. And the other dogs are too big to get to it. But now, as well as having to find a new hiding place, Diesel has another problem. A clockwork snowman he wants real bad. Plays a nice little song. And it's the biggest heist Diesel has ever attempted. Twice the size of him. But Diesel is undaunted. He drags it to the foot of the stairs. Tank came over to take a look at it, and he started beating Tank with his paws because he didn't want to release the snowman. And Diesel makes it up the first step. Ha <laughs> ha, smarty pant. Then he continues to the first landing. You're the Grinch who stole Christmas. He's got a lot of will and a lot of determination for a little dog. Certainly enough to get to the next landing. It's one determined chihuahua. But it looks like Diesel's run out of gas. Can you make it? Are you stuck? You bet he's gonna make it. And he drugged that snowman up all of the stairs into his pen and sat guard for the rest of the afternoon with the snowman. The Henwoods are amused and confused by Diesel's determination every day. You know, I think you could take Diesel to a pet psychiatrist and at the end of the day, the only thing that would come out of it is he would probably eat his couch and steal his notebook. <laughs> I don't think there's enough therapy in the world for Diesel. And I just don't think anyone would be able to, to change him. But the Henwoods don't want Diesel to change anyway. He plays a huge part in our lives because he's added a lot of excitement to the house. As bad as he is, he's wonderful. He makes my day every day and you can't help but laugh.